This is the short story of the rabbit in the moon. A long, long time ago, the man in the moon would spend his nights gazing down at earth. He observed dolphins leaping from waves and penguins gleefully sliding across the icy tundra. But his eyes lingered longer in the forest where a fox, a rabbit, and a restless monkey sat by a fire. Silly monkey! Can't even sit still for a moment. But the man in the moon was struck with the question, who among them is the kindest? The next day, the man in the moon showed up on earth disguised as a homeless beggar. Please, he said to the three friends sitting by the fire, could you find something for me to eat? Could you find something for me to eat? Monkey springs to action, quickly racing into the forest. With enthusiasm, the monkey gathered a feast of fruits and nuts, presenting them to the beggar. This is wonderful. Surely, you are the kindest animal on earth. Fox stands up confidently, a smirk on his face. Fruits and nuts are fine. But allow me. The fox rushed to the river and returns with fish. He starts cooking them. Delicious. Surely, you are the kindest animal on earth. Rabbit, tearfully. I have nothing as wonderful or delicious as my friend's offerings. But maybe you would like a freshly cooked rabbit. In a heart-wrenching moment, the rabbit leaps towards the fire. Fox and monkey, shouting simultaneously. Stop. Stop. Before tragedy strikes, the beggar transforms back into the man in the moon, saving the rabbit. It is true kindness to be willing to give up everything, even one's life, for a stranger. The fox and monkey both asked the moon man that they were also kind, but why rabbit becomes the kindest creator? He said the rabbit was willing to give up everything he had for a stranger. He was willing to give up his life. So he is the kindest. And so, in recognition of the rabbit's unparalleled act of kindness, he went to live on the moon. Sometimes, kindness is rewarded in the most unusual ways. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe our channel. Once upon a time, in a faraway jungle lived a crow. One day, he was flying here and there in search of food but did not get anything to eat. Tired, he sat on the branch of a nearby tree. Suddenly, he saw a piece of bread lying on the ground near the tree. Oh my, my, exclaimed the hungry crow happily. Looks like I'll get to eat something very delicious today. He saw here and there and saw no one around. He quickly grabbed the piece of bread in his beak and took off. On his way, he saw many crows but didn't stop, as he didn't want to share his food with anyone. He flew to a faraway tree and sat on its highest branch. At the same time, a fox was strolling across the jungle and saw the crow with a piece of bread in his beak. Ah! That's a tasty looking piece of bread. I deserve that piece of bread and will get it anyhow. Hello, beautiful crow. How are you? How is your day going? Naturally, the crow did not say anything as he was taught not to speak with his mouth full. 
Look at your big and shiny feathers, my dear friend. No wonder you can fly up so high. I wish I were as beautiful as you. The crow again did not answer. Your eyes are sparkling like a diamond. No wonder you are the most beautiful amongst all, the fox said. I have heard that crow sing well. I am sure you also have a magical voice, the fox continued with his flattery. Please sing a song for me. If you sing well, I promise you to declare the most beautiful voice of the jungle. This time, the crow fell for his words and started singing. He opened his mouth and started singing. As the crow opened his mouth, the piece of cheese naturally fell from his beak to the ground. The fox rushed and grabbed the piece of bread from the ground. Ha ha ha! You foolish crow! I knew you were going to fall for it. You think you have a beautiful voice? Ha ha! No way! The fox said this and left, enjoying the bread. The crow kept sitting there quietly, realizing his mistake and how foolish he had been. Moral of the story The moral of the famous The Fox and the Crow story is never believe flatterers. In the given story, none of the words said by the fox was genuine, and his only intention was to grab the bread. The crow believed his sweet words and ended up losing his food. Similarly, in life, we meet many people who flatter us to get their job done or to distract us from our goals, and we end up believing in their sweet lies. We need to identify such people and stay away from them, as they can go to any extent to fulfill their agenda and even harm us. Thanks for watching. Do like share and subscribe for more such captive stories. Once upon a time there lived three fishes named Andhka, Pratyu and Yadbha in a certain pond, along with many other fishes. One afternoon, some fishermen were passing by the pond. They investigated the pond and agreed that the pond was full of fishes. They discussed, this pond is full of fishes and there are many big ones too. We have never caught fishes in this pond. Let us come back tomorrow morning. Since they were already returning after catching fishes and already had a big haul, they decided to come back the next morning. The three fishes were swimming on the surface when they heard the fishermen discuss their plans. The first fish panicked. He immediately assembled all other fishes and told them what they had heard. He said, tomorrow morning, the fishermen will arrive to catch us. I do not want to die like this. So, I will leave with my family at the earliest. I advise all of you to follow me. It will not be wise for anybody to stay here any longer. The second fish agreed. I shall follow you, my friend, for what you say is correct. It will be unwise to remain here anymore. But the third fish disagreed. He laughed at the two fishes and said to the fishes assembled, see how cowardly these two act. This pond belonged to our forefathers and it is our home now. For so long, no harm has ever come to the fishes of this pond. He continued, just because some fishermen were discussing their plans, is no reason for us to panic and leave our home. Those who agree with me, I advise them to stay where we belong and not go to some unknown place. He further said, Oh friends, the scriptures state that when the time for one's death arrives, one is not spared. If death has to come, let us rather die bravely in our home. Thus, the fishes of the pond got divided into two groups. The group that wanted to stay laughed at the other group. However, 
Within the very evening, the families of the first two fishes started their journey to a different pond through a small outlet. They were followed by many who believed them. The next morning the fishermen arrived as they had planned, and trapped all the fishes that remained in the pond by casting net all over the pond. Not a single fish was spared, and the fishermen were overjoyed with the big haul of fishes that they had caught. The wise indeed say, When you see a danger coming, act immediately. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel for more such stores. Once upon a time, there lived a huge king cobra in a dense forest. When he was small, he liked to eat small creatures. But when he grew up, he started eating lizards, eggs, frogs, and rabbits. Further, when he grew up more, he even started eating small snakes. As he began to grow more and more, his pride began to grow with him. All the other animals in the forest also began to fear the king cobra. This also boosted King Cobra's pride each day. Soon, the King Cobra began to think he was the most powerful creature and the king of the forest as all other animals in the forest feared him. Being the most powerful creature and king of the forest, he thought that he should now move from his small hole to a bigger and more decent place. So, he started searching for a place that would suit his size and status. After some time, he finally came across a big tree. He selected the tree as his house. But suddenly, he observed an anthill near the tree. Why should there be an ugly anthill near my big house? Seeing the anthill near his royal house, he started shouting with full force. I am King Cobra, the most powerful creature and king of the forest. Ants leave the place immediately. There was no reply from the ant side. This made him angry. So, he got wild and struck the ant's hill. Strangely, within minutes, thousands of ants swarmed up. He King Cobra biting him everywhere. King Cobra struggled hard for some time and at last, died a painful death. Moral of the story The King Cobra and Ants The moral of the story is that we should not be proud of anything as pride goes before fall. The story also teaches that sometimes even the strong and powerful cannot face the smaller ones when they are large in number. Hence, we should never underestimate the power of any individual. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe our channel for more such captive stories.